Hi guys, welcome to another quick tip. This one is in Photoshop and what we're doing in this is we're taking some type we've done. This has been done with a uh, Sharpie fabric marker. We want to keep that really nice texture. We could, could take an illustrator and image trace if we lose all that really natural texture you get from like this pen is just sort of running out a bit. So we've done that, we've scanned it in, but we want to remove the back, background so we can place it over a photo or place it over a solid color. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, while I'm showing you, we're going to set up an action so that instead of having to go through the procedures each time, you just click a button and it will do it all for you. Uh, so it saves you a ton of time. So I'm going to go through while recording the action. Probably best if you go through a few times just going through the motions because uh, the action will record everything you do, so even your mistakes. So um, it's best to get go through maybe this tutorial a few times just to um, get it right um, and then you yeah and then have a performance of getting the action right so the panels you need to open for this are the channels panel so if you go to window the action panel the channel panel and the layers panel and so we want to set up a new action so first of all we set up a new folder we call this um, remove action and then we want to record a um, new action. So I click on the new action thing. Just click remove for now. Remove BG for background. You can also set up a, a key for this. So you can just press a key and it'll do it automatic for you. Um, okay, so we're now recording. So everything I do will be recorded in this action. So I need to get it right. <laughs> So first off, we need to select the whole canvas. So we want to go to select, select all. Then down the bottom of the channels panel, we want to click the first box with the dotted arrows, load channel selection. As you can see, you change the selection. So it's selected the black areas in here. Then we want to click the one next to that. So it creates this alpha channel. Then what we want to do is holding in the command key, click on the alpha channel so that it does that selection of the alpha channel and then actually it's, the selection it's got at the moment is inverse so we want to invert that selection so we go to select invert and now it's selected all that go to layers select a new layer hide the background and now we want to fill that layer with solid black so make sure you've got solid black in your um, foreground color and we go to edit fill make sure that the contents is uh, selected foreground color normal blending mode 100% opacity okay that and then we want to deselect select deselect and remove the background layer just by dragging that to the trash can and now that's our action done so what we can do now is just click stop there so as you can see it's got all the different stages we've been through now if I go and get a photo this one's from unsplash.com paste that in we see that we have our type over there. It's kept that texture. Um, we obviously, we want it white if we've got a dark photo. So we double click on that layer, bring up the layer styles, click on color overlay, select white from there. And there we have this really nice textured type that we've drawn, um, keeping that really nice um, look in each of the letters. And we've now got an action that does it um, really quickly. So if I Go back to the beginning. Let me open up. So here we have that type again. Just to show you that this the action should do it for us. Hopefully, if it, I've done everything right. So if we play that action, there we go. It's done it straight away, like literally not even a second to do that. And now add a solid colour. Oh, we were in our uh, black and white bonnet, but as you can see there. We can now change the color again, just like that. So there you go. Um, fairly straightforward, but you may need to, like I said, go through the uh, go through this a few times before you actually record the action, just so you've got you understand where you're going. Um, I hope you found that useful, guys. Please uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you in my next video.